If you are a real estate investor or you want to be a real estate investor and you want funding for your deals, regardless of what your banker says, regardless of what your hard money lender says, regardless of what your mortgage broker says, then you're in the right place. Hang on, because in just a second, I'm going to plug you into the funding. Well, welcome to Real Estate Investing with Jay Connor. I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority. And if this is your first time here to tune into the show, either on iTunes or Google Play or on YouTube, I want to give you a special welcome for tuning in. Uh, what we do here on the show is we talk everything real estate investing. Uh, we talk primarily single family houses, but we talk about uh, finding deals and funding deals and selling deals and all kinds of strategies on locating them and our different exit strategies. And of course, we also talk about automation and how to run the business so your business is not running you. Now, I've got a very, very special guest here on today, a very, very successful student that's got an amazing story to share with you is how they've gone in less than a year from uh, pretty much zero in real estate investing to um, mega millions. And so I'm going to introduce him to you in just a moment. But before I bring my special guest on, I want to be sure and remind everybody about my upcoming live event. The Real Estate Investing Cash Flow Conference is right around the corner. In fact, it's almost here. So you want to get on over and get registered. The uh, website to register is www, and we're going to put it right here on the video screen, www.jayconner, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash money podcast. And just a highlight on getting here to the event, uh, we've got the rehab bus tour. We'll be going out looking at my houses that are actually, uh, that we own. And you'll uh, see the houses in different uh, processes. You'll see houses that we haven't even started on yet. You'll see houses that we have finished and already staged and ready for Southern Living Magazine. You'll meet our crew members, our contractors, how we do business together. And beyond the rehab bus tour, uh, the first day we're going to be talking all about private money before going on the rehab bus tour. Now, on the second day, I'm going to pull the curtain back and teach you all the different ways that we find deeply discounted real estate deals before other real estate investors even know they exist. We're also going to talk more about funding of deals on the afternoon of the second day. I actually have private lenders that are going to be there at the event for you to network with. And then on the third day, it's on selling houses in any, uh, selling any house in three days or less. And then we also on the third day talk about automation, how to use virtual assistance to where you can actually make a six figure and yes, seven figure income working less than 10 hours per month in this business. So get on over and get registered at www.jayconner, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash money podcast, all one word, M-O-N-E-Y podcast, P-O-D-C-A-S-T. And of course, if this is your first time uh, tuning in on YouTube, be sure and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the fantastic content. I have amazing guests that come on here that are always giving great value. If you're tuning into iTunes or a Google Play, be sure and uh, subscribe and rate and review. And we appreciate you being on. The uh, podcast here is growing exponentially fast and glad to have you uh, in the world. So with that, I can't wait to introduce you now to my special guest. His name is Real Estate Steve is what he goes by. His full name is Steve Zumigale and Steve's an entrepreneur. He is a real estate investor and he is a real estate agent himself as well. He's the founder of Freedom Sky Real Estate. He's a second generation licensed real estate agent and a five times national sales excellent award winner with over 250 transactions closed in just the past few short years. Steve's got a master's degree in real estate investing. He's a graduate of the real estate legend and guru Ron LeGrand's master program and his personal mentorship. So check this out. In just less than the past 12 months, Steve has took over $1,100,000, $1,100,000 in cash and equity from real estate deals. And in this short period of time, 
He has escalated his portfolio size to over $4 million. And viewers and listeners, I know you want to hear the story as to how in the world Real Estate Steve has accomplished this. So before we get into the questions and answers, Real Estate Steve, welcome to the show. What's happening, my man Jay? You are a true legend and guru. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate that. And you are hailing out of uh, Erie, Pennsylvania, right? Little old Erie. We're the fourth largest state in Pennsylvania. We have a median home price of 120000 and a medium uh, per family income of about 50000 So it's a smaller city in the United States. So uh, this business, you can do in any city. It doesn't matter the per capita. It doesn't matter the size. Uh, you could pick up any one of us once you get your trading and put us in any city in the U.S. and be a millionaire in a few years. Right, Jay? <laughs> you got that right. You got that right. So, Steve, um, now let me let me just make sure everybody's clear on this. Um, you came into my world uh, almost a year ago. It's been less than And up yeah. until that time of coming into my world, Steve, um, you didn't know anything about private money, right? No, I, I I wouldn't think anybody would give it to me, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. And sure. so, so uh, just to reiterate, so since coming into my world less than a year ago, uh, what's your real estate business looking like now? How much private money have you uh, raised into your business, and what's your portfolio look like? So um, right now the portfolio is hovering around three million. We do have 1.2 million in pending that's on the boards. Um, we borrowed over a half million dollars from private lenders. Um, if you like to count the sellers that have taken back mortgages or second mortgages on some of these, uh, it'd be into the millions. That's true too. Um, I even have private lenders that call and ask to give money at this point. Um, it's because of Jay's system and because of the uh, done for you, you know, what to say language that's in there that we were able to accomplish such things. All I did was flat my list, my lips. And um, Jay taught me how to make everybody want to give me money. It's true. But they make, you have to understand, like they make small fortunes off of you. Like they're not going to get that comforting returns in the stock market. They're not going to see it anywhere else where you have assets that are backed, you know, by low loan to value mortgages and notes. So it's a no-brainer for people to want to do it, especially if they have IRA or, uh, you know, to get all this to go tax-free too. So thank you. Exactly. So let me ask you this, uh, Steve. So prior coming prior to coming into real estate investing, I know you're a real estate agent as well. And so what did life look like you, uh, say, before about a year ago? What was your career looking like? Um, you know, my family has a, a name that dates back into like the 1990s. And so I came along in 2010 and was trained by some of the best minds just for regular, you know, real estate agent sales. Um, Howard Hanna was one of the ones that taught me in 2004. Um, to give you an idea, that guy did 98,000 homes last year for 18.6 billion. It's a privately held company. Um, but we were doing, I don't know, 100, 150 transactions a year between my mom and I, I would do maybe 50 of them. She would do the rest. And they're one and done. You know, it's not a true way to build legacy wealth. So, you know, by getting the deeds and being a deed collector, you know, you get the income, the depreciation, the equity appreciation, the leverage. Um, so that is exactly how you can, you know, build legacy wealth that's going to change your family. I didn't have the know-how without you know, Jay without Ron um, to be able to do that before. I just had the access to all these homes, right? <laughs> right. Um, so, you know, thanks for opening up a world that, uh, you know, exists. Like that world exists in your world, whether you know it or not. Like there's another world that exists in the world that you live in, terms world. Um, you know, where do the people sleep that can't qualify for banks? more of them than people that can qualify that's true that's right that's right yeah there's still like you know uh somewhere around 80 percent of the americans today can't even go to the bank or a mortgage company and uh and get a mortgage so um 
so speaking of you know helping people that can't get a mortgage on your exit strategy are you selling um a lot of your homes on a uh, lease option or on rent yes. option, or are you cash yep. out some of them or what's your favorite exit strategy uh lease option is my absolute favorite because we retain the control of the deed um if cash flow predicts an exit of getting going to retail um every time we do that though i know i'm giving up the deed you know which isn't the preferred way uh the best way to do this is to be um you know have 100 free and clear deeds eventually and you need time value of money to do that that's ours personally um however if we rehab and go retail we're forced to cash out to get the check uh most of the time i can get that check pretty close from the tenant buyer um you know as what i would have made after paying out everybody on the rehab deal so i um, hope that makes sense yeah are you rehabbing most of your houses or uh, not um so it depends on how we bought them so if, if it some of these are like the ones that you do those are harder to come by in my area um those are like full blown i would call it minimum twenty thousand dollars in repairs the last one we took an exit on was uh forty three thousand i think mm -hmm. total um those ones you're I'm most of the time forced to put back to the retail because the market here um you know doesn't have a lot of inventory on it so they get snapped up full price multiple offers like it, it's unbelievable uh, the last one i had full price sold three times like, mm -hmm. you know, um, but the ones that we lease option, you don't have to be like perfect to get the tenant buyer to come in. If you want to protect your asset with the major items, roof wiring, plumbing, heating, kitchens, and baths, but at the same time, like it doesn't need to be, you know, modernized HGTV 2019. Like, you know, you can get away with, you know, um, older appliances, not granite counters, you, you know, the stuff that costs a lot of money. Mm -hmm. um, for them to get the opportunity of the American dream early. So um, it depends, you know, we had two crews running in the fall. We would do six to, well, six to 10,000, I would say, um, in improvements on the lease option ones while the rehab ones were, you know, beyond 20 grand, I guess. So I guess that dollar amount would dictate the exit lease option or retail for us. Right. Gotcha. So, um, so Steve, you being a student of mine, I know you've heard me preach a lot in the past that the money comes first, focus on getting the money lined up, and then you don't have to worry about missing out on any deals. So here's what I know our viewers and listeners are interested in hearing your story. And that is when you first started out attracting private money, and of course, at the upcoming live event, I'll be diving deep on the exact strategies on attracting the funding for the deals. But when you started out, I want to hear your stories as to what did you do? <clears throat> how did you go about attracting the private money? <clears throat> Excuse me, when you started out. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> well, in your in your course, you have that top 20 list. So like all you have to do is pull out your cell phone and like. <laughs> You know, there's a people that have money are in your cell phone, and you already have a relationship with them. So you need to make your warm list, which is going to be <laughs> like 40 or 50 on there. Um, you know, and then Jay's system is going to have you know CD slash literature that you can order that comes with it. And so what I did was I would um, you know call these people explain to them like what it is that we're doing and then read you know the script you know the script works and then uh, let them know like hey I, I really think you'd benefit from some of this information do you mind if i send it to you so we went to the post office and got um i don't know they're eight inch by six inch envelopes added envelopes with um bubble wrap and then i put the cd in there um a handwritten letter that describes what we're about to do and how we can benefit them um, Jay's literature, um, some, in, some, you know, um, where I put this business cards about Freedom Sky Real Estate and your company, uh, and then a sticky note over top in it, letting them know that I'm going to call them, you know, in a couple of days once they have a chance to review it. So, and we 
we'd uh, lick it and stick it. On the right hand corner is an Elvis Presley stamp. That's true. Got to have the king on there. <laughs> uh, that way, it's real important when it gets there, right? Right. Um, yeah. It's like I never had this many Elvis Presley stamps on a padded envelope before. Like, what is this? If you're super excited to get it, as they should be, it's like an envelope that can potentially be a whole lot of money for them. Um, and some of the responses that I got back what, uh, was, um, Steve, that's really impressive. This is a really elaborate way to ask me for money. I said, great. And I go, are you going to give it to us? He goes, yep. <laughs> so, so let me ask you this. Um, besides the one-on-one -on -one visits with potential private lenders, um, <clears throat> did you do any <clears throat> group presentations like private lender luncheons? I, it's it's on, been on my whiteboard. Um, to be honest with you, like I sent out 40 to 50 of these and then we started to do the cold market with the letters that you had written, which also worked like a charm. Um, you know, and we got some back from them asking the JV on deals, but it wasn't like direct access to money. I think it just needs more nurturing. Um, but then we had a huge response from the first wave that we put in to where we have four or five private lenders now. And so like, I don't have... I need to go find deals. Like it's not no longer an issue for well, the money at the moment. <laughs> and you know what? And I tell you, I tell you, Steve, I hear so many times from my students that the problem they end up having uh, on following, you know, the strategies that we uh, teach is like you just said, mm -hmm. you end up with a with a really, really good problem. And that is you got more money than you know what to do with on locating the deals. So that's right. fantastic. Um, so, Steve, you're there in Erie, Pennsylvania, and, you know, that's a pretty good sized city. I'm sure we've got some viewers and listeners there in the area that may be interested in continuing the conversation with you, would like to connect with you, with perhaps uh, there may be some folks there in, the, uh, in that area that uh, have got a house that they would uh, like to sell quickly. Uh, I'm sure there's some folks there in your area that um, would like to buy a home on rent to own that you can help them get ready for a mortgage while they're enjoying living in the home. So Steve, for people that would like to contact with you or make connection with you, how can people get up with you? Sure, sure. So uh, my email is steve at freedomsky.com. Um, and you can call any one of our numbers. The best one is 814-303-HOME. Mm -hmm. That's exactly how we'll get in touch with it. Well, folks, I tell you, we've enjoyed having uh, Real Estate Steve on uh, here at the show so well and so much. And wow, what an amazing story that he has since just coming into my world less than a year ago of having a $4 million portfolio and cashing out $1,100,000 in cash that uh, we are inviting Real Estate Steve to come join me on the next episode. So don't miss out on that. The next episode, we're bringing uh, Steve on back to finish out his story. So uh, thank you for tuning in. And uh, again, get on over and register at www.jayconner, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash money podcast for my upcoming live event. I want to meet you there in person.